James uh, because uh, James took a little while, a little while to warm up, but now his engine is ready. <laughs> his engine has started, and now he is very hot. He's on gear one, gear one, and now he start to do training, and I'm so proud that he, because now he's uh, in the action mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you James. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your support. <laughs> okay. Uh, since graduated, I already done uh, one for three companies on uh, supervising others. Another one I did is a public program, is coaching skills. Tonight, I want to share with you on coaching skills. Okay. I have, I have so many things to talk about coaching, but today I just focus on one topic. That is on uh, go, get your goals done. Okay. All right. Coaching skills. This was my public program. Okay. This is a little bit of me. Uh, I graduated from Help University. Uh, my first MBA was with uh, Australia and all those. Uh, doesn't make much. <laughs> Only telling me how much money I spend here. Okay. All right. What is coaching? How many of you have received coaching before? Okay. You also? Okay. The other one more? Didn't see her. I think she's just to the back. Oh, access to the back, okay. So she went for a different coach, health coach. Health coach and the coaching that I'm talking about is totally different. Okay, they are selling you a product, a complete guide to something like how to improve your health to, until to what level, depending what you want, whether it's a slimming or improving your health. Okay. For Max, Max actually went for a coaching program. <laughs> Graduated but never used. Oh. What a waste. So he came for refreshing. But by the way, he's a, he's a practicing lawyer. Okay. <laughs> you need anything about law, can ask him. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Leroy also you went for coaching? Uh, but mine is a different coaching. Mine is badminton. Oh, badminton coach, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then along the way, he, yeah. he learns how to coach people. He was talking to me the other day. Wow, he, he learns the whole thing on his own. Oh, yeah. You see, there are people like that. So he, he's on track because he checked with me. Whether he, de he deviated, yeah. but no, he was on track. Good. <laughs> So coaching is about partnering. Let me see. Uh, let me get this light up. Coaching, uh, coaching is about partnering with the client in a thought-provoking and creative process that inspires them to maximize their personal and professional potential. This is from ICF, we call in short. Okay. So it is very interesting. What is coaching actually? That means we want to draw the best inside you. See, there are a lot of things inside you and me. Those we call the hidden treasures or the hidden potentials. You see? No one can draw it out except a coach can. Or unless you study coaching before and then you run through the questions and you coach yourself. See, otherwise, it is quite impossible for you to draw out the best. Hmm? But some say uh, God inspires them. Ah, that one I got no argument. Ah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because I, I have went overseas and did some preaching for some churches. So I know when God inspires you, you can do exploits. Correct, Eli, right? Okay. Eli can verify that. But then, many years later, I, I wasn't active anymore because I need to concentrate on my work. I cannot be doing things for free, going overseas. It's not easy. So I moved, to, moved back to normal working and all those things. All right, so that is coaching. But what is training then? Are you all trainers? Okay, this I took it from the dictionary. Okay, this is what we do in training. Okay, imparting information, instruction, improve. Okay, so we go back to KSA. All right, you know what's KSA, so I skip. Yeah. So the difference now. What is the difference? Okay, I just summarize it. 
Look at the color. The color words are the keyword. Okay. Training helps the trainee to realize, aware, what they need to change. What are their shortcomings? Why am I short? Okay. So, and then what are the things that I need in order to change my behaviors? What behaviors need to be changed? <coughs> what new methods I need to adopt? Okay. So with that, I can be more effective in my job. Okay. This is what we are doing as a trainer, as a coach. Now I'm making a contrast so you can see it very clear. Okay. So coaching is about mindset changing. Unlock the mindset. A lot of us are blocked with all kinds of things we inherited from our childhood. When you are small all the time, you, sometimes you get some people telling you, uh, maybe call you stupid, call you nicknames. All these things get embedded in us without us realizing. So over the years, when you want to do some, something, in, something good for yourself, you find that, can man? I don't think I can. Oh. So the fear comes in. This one we call self-limiting beliefs. So in coaching, we help you get rid of them. Okay. So the next thing, what coaching did is change and empower you. Hmm? Help you to change and empower, okay, to bring behavioral transformation. And that will increase your productivity. Okay. I hope it makes it clear. You see the keywords then easier. The rest too long. If I just show you the keywords, no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I make it into a nice two sentence for you to grasp. Okay. So example of coaching, met, uh, coaching models. In the market, there are many coaching models. Okay. The one that I came from is a three-stage coaching, which is not here. But these are more uh, the international one. Okay, when you do a search coaching models, ah, this all come out. <laughs> so the most famous, the easiest to use, is the Grow model. Okay. So in my program, when I was uh, teaching my public program, I using the Grow model. So it's easy to understand. Okay. Just that Grow model got limitation, but in the, my program, I have put in. The other subjects which will cover their shortfall. So it's an all rounder. At the end of the day, you have a complete coaching model. Okay. The six level coaching, this is all you get mostly from the from the Europe side, the James, American. James, can you show us the grow model? Okay. So I want to introduce you grow model. Okay. What is grow model? Grow model is about goal setting. Okay. Number two, reality check. Goal, I don't think I need, I don't think I need to explain. But reality check. What is the reality check? The reality check is about where I am today. Where is my goal that I've set? Find your gap. Whether you set the goal achievable or not, based on your current reality state. state huh? <coughs> Can I achieve my goal? Okay, some people set goal, I want to be a millionaire in two years. First ask ourselves, <laughs> where am I now? Hardly got a penny in the pocket, but I want to be two million now in two years. The only way is try your lottery ticket. <laughs> Otherwise, <coughs> what have you install for yourself? What program have you installed? What action step would you like to take to reach there? If you don't have all the steps, you don't have all the strategies and all the ways of doing it, forget about it. You're only lying to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. That's what we call the reality check. And then the next thing, when you have your goal, after checking your reality, now you want to check how many options are there for me to arrive to achieve my goal. So we develop options in the coaching. We help you develop the coach, the how many options through coaching. Okay. <coughs> then the next thing we talk about, wrapping it up means coming up with an 
action plan that is workable through the options options you can have many options but you need to first you recall that you diverge as many options as you can then you converge pick the two best maybe making the second one as your plan B okay but you must have a plan A focus the plan A is based on the goal so you have a direction and a flow okay that's what coaching all about is all very structured okay so go in the context of grow that is the first step so you can use this four thing you look at this four uh, question here uh, four, four stated things here so go will give you the direction coaching time will be more efficient once you have your direction then you then as a coach, if I know what is your goal, I can plan ahead what question I would like to ask. I would like to challenge you, challenge your goal, challenge you to be more productive, to move forward. That's through questioning. Okay. Hey, sorry. Uh, direct and avoid. Okay, once you have the coaching goal, you know your focus, you won't waste time. Okay, so as a coach, sometimes I will sit down with you, you will tell me so many stories. Then I say, hey, come on, get back to the floor. Okay, because a lot of us, once you sit down, once you start talking, no stop. Later, you'll learn about storytelling. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, I just say, for example, I give you these six items, okay, without telling you what to do, and ask you to plan within five minutes what you want to do. You think it's easy? Or I give you half an hour. You think you can come up with something which you want to do with the six item? Yes. Okay. Easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I have tools. if you have the tools, ah. But what if I ask you what you want to build? How long will it take? Where will it be located? How will you know you succeed? I think that will make your mind boggles. No longer that easy, right? What if I ask you to develop a shelter for small ivory creatures? Huh? Maybe make a kennel for dogs. <laughs> Immediately you can start work. So that is the importance I'm stressing on is the goal. If you have a goal, you know what you want to do. You shorten a lot of things. You will not waste a lot of time. Sit down with somebody who has the same goal with you. Especially if you're doing a business. Things will go faster. You save a lot of time. Okay. So identifying the appropriate goal area. What are the things that you need, to, you need to look at? What goals are you working on right now? So if you want to have goals, what you need to do? Where are you in relation to those goals? What do you think is keeping you from reaching those goals? This is where your self-limiting beliefs comes in. We need to get it removed. Okay. Then the last one, how will you know you reach the goal? So during the coaching session, we will work out a measuring, how to assess it, how to set milestones. Milestone as you go, if you go to KL, for example, you, I mean, outstation is here. You have the milestone, berapa kilometer lagi, berapa kilometer lagi. That's your milestone. <laughs> Okay. So you set the stone so you can keep track better how you are progressing. Okay. So that's what we do in the coaching. So some sample goals here I'm showing you is to tell, uh, let you think, let you fig uh, figure out a bit whether it's a good goal or not. Okay. Grow sales. Do you think it's a good goal? Grow sales. You ask the session. What's your goal? Okay, I want to grow sales. Is it good? Good. Huh? Too general, correct. So it is a bad goal. No target. What target? Ah, okay. So just one thing that we can do is uh, let's check out what we need to do. We call smart goals. 
when you set goal, you use this template. Okay. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, timely. So, in a coach, in a coaching session, we will coach you on this. Okay. Example of a good goal. You can see all the items mentioned there. Right? If this guy is a dentist, can he achieve? Yes. yes. See. If he is a cleaner, can he achieve? No. Yes. If he's a, just a cleaner. You see? <laughs> uh, unless he saves money, but it takes a longer period. Not to say he cannot achieve. Can mm -hmm. achieve. He can for TTT and then he know how to train people <laughs> to do cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that means he starts his own business. Yes. Yeah, you start your own business, can. But not so short. Lah. You, it might take a longer period. So we need to do the reality check. Reality check. Huh? We ask this person to see Uda, 30, 35 years old, 1 million. <laughs> okay. It's just the time. time. So sometimes when people set goals, then we say, okay, you need to restructure your time. You see, it doesn't mean cannot. So don't just cut them off. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Any question?